Hello everyone and welcome to BCC Art Studio. I'm Billy and today I am going to show you how I made how I made my butterflies here. Um I'm not going to show you how I put it on the clip. I just put it on the clip with some resin, but I'm going to show you how I made the butterflies. So I found this picture and I went on my computer and I printed it off. I found, so I'm going to do it on this butterfly. They're all the same butterfly. Um, and then I'm printing it off on, so I'm using clear sticker paper. And so what that does, <clears throat> if I can find the end, so the clear sticker paper is, well, clear. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, we want to tape this to our table. All right, so now it's all taped down. So next thing we want is we want our resin. And I am using high viscosity UV resin hard type. This bottle is almost empty, but I do have another. So I'm going to do two wings here and two wings here. I don't want to do them all at once because then you can't place them all at once. It's just the way I like to do it. It's easier just doing it this way. So I'm going to see what I got left in this resin jar here. And what you want to do, you want to put enough on here to cover the picture that you're doing. The wings that I'm doing, so I want to put enough on there to cover the wings. And you're just going to take your little brush, whatever you want to use to move this around. Just be gentle not to tear the paper above it or below it. And you're going to push it around out to the edge. Don't have to be perfect. You do want it to go over the edge just a little bit so you have something to cut. So I'm going to pull it away from the colors just a bit. So that way, when I do cut it out, I'm not cutting into the picture. Don't worry too much about them jumping in together. You're going to just cut right through that anyway. Alright, so I'm going to cure that, just that one first before it starts running all over the place, which most likely it won't, but I'm going to cure this one first, probably for about at least three minutes. And we will be back. Okay, so next we want to do these two wings. And we want to do the same thing, brushing this stuff over picture okay and we're gonna put that under the lamp for three minutes and we'll be back okay so our butterflies are cured next thing we want to do is we want to remove the tape Okay, now that the tape is removed, we can cut these sections out. So I'm just going to take these and cut them apart, and then I'm going to cut these in half. Now we do not need to worry about the body of the butterfly, we're not looking for that, we're just, we just want the wings. So 
Now you're gonna follow your outline of your wing that you want. So if you see how I have this on here and you see the resin is just over where I want to cut. So I want to cut along the butterfly wing. All right, once I get the other ones cut, I will be back. Okay, so I got my wings cut out, and now we will get to the next step. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get a piece of tape. Fold one of the ends so it doesn't stick to your fingers and just place it down. And then we need another piece of tape, probably about that long. And then we'll split it in half and we will take one end, stick it, stick it down. And the other end I like to just place on the tape so it grabs it and then pull tight and place it down. So now these are face up, paper on the back, face up, paper on the back. We'll just put those on there. Doesn't matter how you put them on there, just put them on there, stick them in there. Stick them in there. Press down. Try to get them as flat as possible. Now, it's time to put another coat of resin. Now these are all resin over. Now for, excuse me, a little fun part. We're gonna take this off of the tape. So when you're taking this off, so this is the top side. This is the side that was on the tape. That side is sticky. So when you place this back down, you want the sticky side up. So the tape, the paper should just come right off. Take each one of these and stick it on there. Try not to mess up the ink side. Okay, now we need to figure out what color background we want. Okay, so I have my little mixing tray that I use for my mixing. And then I have my mica powder that I want to use. This one is, let's see, purple, blue, green. I don't know if you can see the different colors in it. And then I bought these. They were supposed to be mica powders and, well, they're more like mica chunk, mica chunks, glitter. Anyway, I'm gonna be using two different colors of these. That one and this one. So I'm gonna use the tray here and I'm gonna mix my stuff there. Okay, so now we're going to put this on the back of 
our little feathers. Make sure you get it all the way to the edge. Make sure all your edges are covered. If you get any bubbles, you want to just torch it. Take care of it just like that. So I'm gonna cure these two for two minutes and then I will be back. Okay, back to the next ones. A little torch. And two minutes cure time. Okay, cure time is over. Now we need to put one more clear coat on these. Two minutes. For the best part, the unveiling. So, let's see what they look like. Okay. So, here we go. There's one. Now, it is still kind of see-through, so sometimes I like to either paint the, the back black or white. It depends on, I guess it just depends on what color I want to use or what pattern I've used. So this is kind of a bright pattern. Let me bring you down for a close-up. So here it is. A little close, I guess. On the white background that I have, This, of course, is the back of my hand. I'm just trying to show you some of the different colors. And this is how it looks with a black background. So I think that I will be painting the back of these black. And then I will be back. Okay, so I went ahead and I painted the backs black and I put a new layer of resin over it. And this is the result with the black background. I, I really like the black, it really makes the other colors pop out. And here it is under different lighting. I'm trying to get you some better lighting. That is super gorgeous. Just look at all the sparkly colors. Now you can do whatever you want with yours, but I'm going to be putting them on hair clips. And let me show you the one that I did earlier. So this one is much bigger. And as you can see, I did the edges, but they are very sharp. This is the first one that I've done, but the colors in this one are so beautiful. And that is the first one I've done. And then you have my little baby one. And we are going to see what we can do with that one. So I changed my mind on what I wanted to do with the little butterflies. I made some smaller ones and decided to make a bracelet and I wanted to show it quickly to you all before the end of this video.
Thank you for watching and happy pouring.